President Biden will speak to the nation tonight after the Senate passed a new debt limit deal. Both sides are claiming victory, but not everyone agrees. Fox News correspondent Molly Hennenberg has the latest from Washington. The bill is passed. Within minutes of the passage of the debt deal in the Senate Thursday night, the White House put out a statement from President Biden praising lawmakers. He said, quote, no one gets everything they want in a negotiation, but make no mistake, this bipartisan agreement is a big win for our economy and the American people. In part, the 99-page Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2023, as it's called, removes the limit on how much the U.S. government can borrow to pay its bills and restricts some government spending for two years. We will not be defaulting, and we will not be passing the hard rights extreme agenda, virtually no part of it. Top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell says the measure, quote, begins to curb Washington Democrats' addiction to reckless spending that grows our nation's debt. 36 senators voted against the debt deal, mostly Republicans. One says it's too risky to remove the debt limit rather than set a new one now. It's like people that do the grocery cart race, and they're given two minutes to fill up that cart with everything. They go for the most expensive things. They pile as much as they can before the time runs out. That is what I fear will happen with this, with no dollar amount set and the limit suspended. Congress will consider setting a new debt limit in 2025, after the next presidential election. In Washington, Molly Henneberg, Fox News.